Hi beautiful people, welcome to my channel. I'm Yvonne. If this is your first time being on here, welcome and thank you for stopping by. I hope you stick around. If you've been on my channel before, thank you for being back here. Um, today I wanted to talk to you about five trending items that I personally will be saying no to. By the way, excuse the headband. <laughs> I was just having fun with headbands in my room today i have quite a few i almost never wear them but i was putting them on and my daughter loved them so i thought so i thought you know what i'm just gonna keep them on for this video so if you like it and think it's cute okay but if you don't you can just you know watch me from here or focus from here <laughs> um i'm just having fun with it anyway today i wanted to share with you five trending items mostly luxury trending items that i personally will be saying no to i just cannot get with these items i can't i just can't um the price points for what they are i'm just not i'm not i i love a good trend i'm usually one who can try some trends Sometimes I'll do the designer trend, sometimes I'll do the non-designer trend, but yes, let me just jump into the trends and let me know if any of these are something that you're also hesitant about or you are for or not for, against, all that stuff. Let me know. The first trending item that it's been trending for a while, but I just cannot get myself to pull the trigger on it is the Chanel Dad Sandals. The Chanel Dad Sandals, guys, it's been around for, it's been trending for some time now. And I think it's going to be trending for um, some time more to come. But I just can't get, I can't, can't seem to pull the trigger. At first, I just could not find my size. But I recently found my size in Las Vegas a few months ago. Tried it on. I shared it on my Instagram. Hello, Yvonne blog, if you're not following me on there. And <clears throat> it was an opportunity for me to just really decide if this was something i was gonna finally get and i just walked away from it i just could not find myself paying over fifteen hundred dollars for these dad sandals style that the truth is i i just do not think i'll wear it that much i have i have um another pair of dad sandals let me show you i have these pair this is these are vince and i think they're actually cute I've had them for over a year and a half, maybe even almost two years, but look, never worn this. And I just, I think that if I've never worn these, whenever I'm like, you know what, I'm going to try these with an outfit, there's some another pair of shoes that I go for. So I just keep thinking if I get the Chanel Dad sandals, I might be stuck with this $1,500 or more pair of shoes. Some might be a little less, but around that price point. And I never a shoe that I never would will wear even or maybe wear once in a while. But guys, I don't know. Do you guys know how much those are? They really are over a thousand, some most over fifteen hundred. But yeah, at that price point, I should be wearing it every day. I should be wearing it like you should be seeing it seven days a week on all my Instagram pictures, videos. Like <laughs> I feel like at that price point, I should and for what it is, I should get my cusper wear out of it. But yeah i just i've not been able to pull the trigger on it i like this i think they're okay i think that as a trend i've seen people wear them styled so well and i'm like oh that looks beautiful but i just personally i can't seem to get with it and also my husband thinks they're ugly um, he says that some men, he says that men think they're ugly. I don't think all men think they're ugly. He doesn't know that, but you know, I we don't and we don't dress for men anyway, right? We dress for ourselves and other women, I think. But I just keep thinking like if my husband thinks they're ugly, when I'm hanging out with him or around him, it's not the shoe that I'll want to wear, the ugly shoes that he thinks are ugly. I'll probably wouldn't want to wear another pair. Um but yeah, so the Chanel Dad sandals, are you all loving it? I think it's great. I like them on with dresses. I've seen them on a lot of um, people on social media and they wear them so well. But personally, it's just not, it's something I'll be saying no to because I know that I will not reach for them. I never reach for this. And I'm thinking maybe it's the color. I've, I've thought maybe if I get them in the black, so I'm considering getting the Steve Madden version or Kurt Geiger version or something like that for a lot less and just see if I wear it. And I figure if I don't wear it in the black version very much, it's okay because guess what? It's only 
what under a hundred dollars or a little over a hundred I wouldn't feel as bad as if I spend over a thousand and almost never reach for it you know wear it once once every so often but yeah so the Chanel dad sandals definitely number one on my list number two on my list is um Bottega, most of Bottega shoes, Bottega Veneta, he, um, their items, their shoes especially have been trending for a while now. Their um, little sandals, I really like them actually, but I just, for the price point, you all know how much those are, over a thousand dollars. I want to say 1100 or something like that. Tried them on also recently in person, finally found my size and I really thought, I was like, this might be it. I'll get them. They looked really cute on. But I just, you know, for me, my lifestyle right now, as much as I'm all about still having fun and still dressing up and, you know, wanting to look cute still, even being a mom of a few little ones, at the same time, for the most part, most days, I'm not wearing heels, like the little heels type shoes. I'm not wearing a lot of those to run around the kids, pick up the kids and all that. Maybe I should. <laughs> Just kidding. I don't think I think it will last a day, but I don't think I, I can really maintain that all the time running around. Um, so yeah, I just think for me, my lifestyle right now, wearing those, um, I'm just not going to wear it that much. My cost per wear is just not going to do it for me. So I just could not get those even when I saw them. Another reason why I'm just not wanting to pay is because of the dupes. The dupes are so good. Well, the Vince Camuto, I think that's how you say his name. Vince Camuto dupes of that this shoe, I think it's so good. I've tried it on um, in other colors. Love it. Loved it. Got it. Got it in a yellow and a black. I Yes. You know, at this price point, it's about $100, roughly $100, and they will send coupons. I got the black one but with 25% off. They just sent it to my email. And I got it for about roughly $60. And you know what? They're really, I tried on the um, designer version recently. I can say that, I can say that they are pretty, pretty close looking and feel. They're comfortable. The look is similar. The colorway, you know, yeah. So this is a great dupe. And I just find that if I'm going to spend that much money on a, uh, a designer pair of shoes or item i don't want you another person to have the dupe that looks that you cannot even tell sometimes or that looks so similar you know i want if i'm gonna spend that much money on an item like i want you to not be able to find it find easily like a dupe that is so close to it you know what i mean you want it to look like the designer version that you spend that much money on so yeah no this one is pretty good. When I wear it, it satisfies my Bottega urge for a minute. I don't wear it very much. I don't feel that bad that I don't wear it that much because of the price point. Or well, the yellow one, the black one I just got. Um, but yeah, so that's another reason. And then there are other shoes like the that were trending, like the... Um, I think it's, I don't know if it's the tire boots it's called, with the thick rubber looking sole you know yeah yeah trending i've seen it worn dressed up really cute but for me personally i'm just saying no to it i just will pass on that i love boots but just that particular one for the price point it's not something i'll wear very much so yeah i think it's a trend i'll pass so i will definitely be saying no to the most of bottega their trending shoes right now the third um huge trend right now item items that i'm saying no to it's the sky high sky high platform platform shoes they're everywhere you're seeing them every almost every um luxury brand has some version of it versace has one um valentino has one i tried on the valentino pair recently and i really liked it i liked it but very high at the price point i at the price point for the height i just will not wear it that much i'm already tall i'm about five eight five nine um five foot eight five foot nine i am so when i wear that it just takes me to like over six feet tall nothing wrong with tall like that being tall like that but personally it's not the look i'm going for most days um and like i said with my kids also i'm just not gonna be functioning very much with those 
but they're really cute i even styled them uh, wore them for a picture on my instagram and another reason why i just don't get the urge to want to spend that amount for it is because i um already have this i got these from asos i got these from asos like over four or five years ago they still have it i'll link them if i saw them recently still maybe they're sold out now being that it's so trending but i saw them recently and i'll um link them in the bottom if you're interested in them and really these got them a while ago just for a, a look that i was going for for some outfits and it really did work for the purpose serve the purpose at the time and i have styled them recently again with them just trending with platforms style trending i've worn them recently and i really like them and they were about 60 or 70 dollars or so from asos and you know what for a shoe that i wear once in a while style them once in a while hardly wear them for that price point i don't feel so bad it gives me the you know the trend but not feeling bad that i never wear the shoes although the platforms is a the platforms the platforms as a style as a whole have been around forever so they'll probably continue to stick around or if they come if they if they the trend goes away it'll probably come and go so you can always just have in the back of your closet when it comes back and pull it out so it's not a bad one to invest in if you really love it and can afford it and will wear it and all that but for me, I'm saying no to that. The third um, trendy item items right now would be the Amina Muadi shoes. The Amina Muadi, her heels, her especially like the clear one with I don't know if it's vinyl or plastic or rubber. I, I don't know. <laughs> Some it looks like plastic. The clear plastic shoes with the design yeah that one i'm just it's just not for me first of all i have wide feet i have large feet big size 41 42 size feet i just do not think it'll work for me they look kind of narrow and then they show your toes completely so if your toes are squished in there you can see them and then i live in texas where it's hot like some people are hot and I could just see my feet maybe sweating in there and just like squishing and just <laughs> it's just not a good look that I'm like envisioning in my head. So yeah, I'm like, no, those would not work, especially for the price point. And it's like rubber, it's not even like leather. And I think they're 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 very expensive. They're more than five hundred, more than six hundred dollars, definitely. So yeah, no, not for me. Um, I can invest in some expensive shoes, but no, not those. I think they're a trend and also you can find really good dupes like on Amazon, Amazon and other stores, online stores. I've seen people tag them really good. If they didn't tag them and show, said that it was not for the designer, I may not even know. So it's like, why would I want to spend that much money when you can get like a 40, $50 version and it looked the same. So no. And besides, I don't love them, but let me know if you love them. Yes. And then the Mac and Mac shoes, another trending shoe that I also will be saying no to. No, 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 no. They are cute. They're pretty. But if someone wants to gift me, I'll take them. <laughs> but to buy them with my own money, guys, I just, no, I will not be doing that. I just don't. I find them to be very wedding-esque shoes beautiful shoes don't get me wrong they're beautiful but i just I, I mean i'm not getting married i'm i've already been married i'm married unless if i'm doing like a vow renewal or something that i'm looking for some wedding type shoes or just very feminine shoes girly shoes if i was looking for that um but yeah at the price point also i just don't think it's it's not something i would wear all the time so i don't think it would be worth it for me and also um yeah if it's it, yeah the style and i've also heard that read and heard that the it doesn't wear wear well like it doesn't hold up very well i don't know if it's true i don't know <laughs> but um watch some of the um amazon bloggers or influencers or you know just amazon um not amazon excuse me youtube personalities they've talked about it some of them have mentioned that theirs have not held up very well so yes 
it's something also that I'm thinking if you're spending so much on a pair of shoe, I mean, it should really, at the least you can do it, you know, hold up a little bit well, well or better. So yeah, that's another reason why I would not be doing those. Then another pair of shoes that is trending, or yes, recently, that I'm saying no to is the Birkenstocks, the designer Birkenstocks version. Have you all seen those? It's like the Birkenstock and it has like the rhinestones around it, like around, yeah, some of it. It's cute if you're into Birkenstocks, but you know, I've worn Birkenstocks like years ago for a little bit. Um, my husband does like Birkenstocks actually, and it's funny because he he offered the other day. He's like, he had just bought a new pair of Birkenstocks, and he was just raving about how much he loved them, how comfortable they are. Yes, and they tend to be more comfortable. And he said, "Do you want me to get your pair, like a matching pair?" And I said, I don't even want the designer version. And he was talking about the non-designer version. And I said, no, I don't even want the designer version. Instead of getting me that, I'd rather you get me something else. I can tell you a few other things that I'd prefer for you to get from me than that. So yeah, that's even even an offer. I'm like, no. But they're cute for some people. They they you know, some people have seen them style it really well. It goes with their style. But for me personally, even the designer Birkenstocks, no just yeah no the price point Birkenstocks are already kind of not cheap just for everyday shoes and then the price the designer version that I really don't I, maybe I've not seen one in person to really see the difference but I just feel like it's the the designer name brands that slapped on it that the price is just is even more it's really expensive so yeah no that is just not it, it's not for me and the um, last trend that i've i heard a lot about i've not heard too much about recently maybe i'm just not choosing not to hear very much about it because i don't want to hear much about it is low-rise everything low-rise trousers jeans low-rise skirts really mini skirts low rise, yeah yeah low-rise i love a good mini skirt but very low-rise anything i've done that i did that years ago i think christina aguilera britney spears uh, when they did it what, what was that was it the 2000s or so i don't even remember late mid early 2000s i don't remember but yeah so no and the truth is also my body right now has changed with my kids and just through the years i don't think that something so low rise would flatter me personally right now might be flattering to you but it's just not something that i'm like really jumping for so i'm like please let's keep that in the past low rise any everything is a no no for me <laughs> but yeah you let me know in the comments if there is something that's a no a trend that's a no for you that you're saying no to passing on for whatever reason let me know talk to me Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Um, don't forget to like if you like the content. And um, don't forget to subscribe. It really just helps me here on YouTube. Thank you so much again for watching. Bye.